Good afternoon. My name is Nam uh, Sung Pek, and I'm a professor of the Female Health Institute in South Korea. I will speak about the current status of Korean breast cancer and new technology of oncoplastic surgery in South Korea. This uh, slide shows you a marathon of the uh, pink ribbon, which um, is usually in October, which takes place in October. Uh, let me, allow me to speak about myself. I work in the uh, hospital of the National Oncology Center and also in uh, Konkuk Hospital. At the moment, I work in the uh, female uh, university hospital, uh, which is which is uh, which has long history of 130 years. I also used to be the president of um, Breast Cancer Society of South Korea and the president of the World Society of Breast Cancer. Back in 2001, I was a uh, uh, person of the year in the United States, and uh, also I was in the top. 100 surgeons uh, in of, uh, operating in breast cancer patients in UK. This is a photo of 100 best uh, for 100 best surgeries in um, breast cancer, which uh, was provided to me by IBA uh, British Academy. I uh, operated on patients and I delivered lectures in many countries in the world because first uh, time plas uh, for the first time I uh, started doing plastic surgery um, and organ sparing surgeries in uh, South Korea and in China. Not many specialists recognized such type of conservative surgeries, um, but nowadays they are becoming more and more widespread. This is a photo where I deliver lectures on the how we can uh, do the screening, detection, and the treatment in many countries. I delivered lectures devoted to that. As you know, cancer is uh, described as uh, something like a, a, a cancer, an animal, or a crab, uh, because you know that uh, it, the back of this animal is um, uneven, meandery, and also it won't let you go once he grabs you. So cancer is not uh, just in the breast. It has a trend to metastasizing, especially in the lung and bones and the liver. The cancer doesn't know where it will go. And just like the cancer as an animal doesn't know where it will walk to. And sometimes it will go into the brain or the ovaries. When it comes to Korea, then in the past we didn't have a lot of oncology cases because the um, uh, private income uh, becomes uh, has become over uh, thirty thousand U.S. dollars. We are uh, part of the OECD countries, and now we um, have more patients coming for treatment now. Previously, infection diseases were first cause of death. Nowadays, it's cancer. Just for your, uh, uh, just to inform you, if you look at the course of death in Korea in 2018, uh, cancer is first, then heart and CVAs, then respiratory, uh, such as pneumonia, fourth is aging, and suicide is five, fifth. Aging is just a natural process, but in nowadays, uh, aging is quite a prolonged period, so aging is considered to be a disease as well. The mean uh, lifespan in Korea among uh, men and women is average lifespan for women, for women is 86.3 and uh, 8.3 for men. So general, uh, the mean age is 83 years. Uh, two out of five will have oncology diseases among men and one out of three among women. In men, it is higher because they uh, have to work in, uh, occup uh, and, um, uh, in occupational hazards, so to say, and uh, they're stressed out. This chart shows uh, cancer incidence in male patients 
all over the world, Korea and Japan, they rate pretty much the same. Um, stomach cancer rates is first. In the United States and England, this is prostate cancer. And uh, I suppose that Korea and Japan will approximate uh, England and USA data in the uh, recent future. When it comes to women, uh, then uh, cancer, uh, breast cancer is the most um, widespread in Japan, United States, and England. Apart from that, among women, we also come across such oncology diseases such as thyroid cancer, colon cancer, stomach cancer, and lung cancer. Five year survival shows how efficient uh, treatment modalities are. When it comes to stomach cancer, uh, Japan really um, succeeded, but at the, moment, at the moment we have um, we have caught up with it with, with, with this country. Then in uh, terms of uh, breast cancer, we have much uh, higher five year survival um, than if compared to other countries such as the United States and Canada. That is uh, how um, high the level of service, medical service in Korea is. And uh, we really work at the top of the world, um, so to say, experience. Risk factors, uh, breast cancer risk factors, uh, should be seen as a myriad of different factors. This is obesity, no exercise, no breastfeeding, alcohol abuse, uh, hormone replacement therapy, uh, menopausal women, birth control pills, and not having children or uh, patients uh, about um, 20 years of age on um, uh, on just uh, birth control pills and, uh, for example, one child and uh, uh, unmarried uh, children. Mm. In Korea, the fertility rate is very low, and uh, uh, that is why in developed countries the breast cancer uh, will uh, continue to be increasing in incidence. The common causes of breast cancer, first of all, is late, a late age of first birth, early menarche and uh, late menopause, as well as hormone replacement therapy for long. Uh, pre uh, pre previously, for menopausal women, we used hormone, uh, hormone replacement therapy. Nowadays, it is not used, especially uh, if we speak about high fat and high calories uh, um, intake, alcohol abuse. Uh, uh, high BMI also increases uh, breast cancer as well as the alcohol abuse. Too much vodka in Russia, for example. Low physical activity if you don't do sports because it is too cold, for example. And if there is a uh, family history of breast cancer, for example, um, mother and aunt of uh, Angeline uh, uh, Jolie can be taken as an example, then five years uh, earlier screening should be provided because it, it could be uh, other uh, habits apart from the uh, just um, uh, food. As you can see from this slide, uh, the uh, breast cancer is, uh, uh, has high incidence in those countries where more fat uh, is uh, taken in. Uh, when there is more calories, more fat, people gain weight. And there are two models 
of uh, sort of two shapes. For example, you can have an apple shaped, and uh, on the right you can see the uh, pear shaped. In pear shaped, we don't have we have normal risk of CVDs and breast cancer. It's just uh, like normal risk. In apple shaped, uh, five times, uh, three times the normal risk of both diabetes, obesity, uh, CVDs, as well as the breast cancer. Looking at women, you can immediately understand by the shape where the risk is. Also, there are certain signs of uh, breast cancer. Uh, for example, where the uh, skin is uh, overstretched in the areola, uh, or there are certain, uh, certain densities, or for example, uh, this is one of the signs of breast cancer. First, it wasn't uh, here, but later on, this uh, type of malformation appears. And there are also healing techniques such as acupuncture, but uh, this, is, should not, this should not be pro provided to this woman uh, because of cancer. Or, for example, there is uh, pus accumulation and the uh, pyrolysis process. Uh, this uh, uh, patient can undergo surgery only after, uh, um, after um, uh, antibiotics. Also, discharge from the nipple. Uh, and the pain can be in 10 out of 100 inflammatory symptoms. But in these patients, uh, we don't have inflammation, we have cancer. Why? Because uh, of uh, pass and inflammation and uh, uh, the, um, because of the, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, this is uh, related to uh, your intimate life. Uh, people who live alone, they come at advanced stages already. They come too late uh, because of, uh, Mm, uh, religious regions, and sometimes they just um, afraid of uh, getting uh, RT or chemotherapy, but they would go to the temple rather. You should pray only after you get the best uh, possible state of the art treatment with uh, based upon the latest knowledge. Sometimes it is eczema like, and this patient also has cancer. This also looks like an eczema, but this is cancer because the nipple form was. Uh, uh, changed and uh, sometimes a uh, blood uh, bloody discharge doesn't always mean cancer it uh, it would be verified only from 10 to 15 cases out of 100 uh, this patient developed ca uh, cancer during uh, lactation uh, breastfeeding and uh, the prognosis was very poor but uh, we use antibiotics chemotherapy in such cases after that we provide surgery then survival will be good enough if during lactation uh, breast cancer develops, then the uh, prognosis is not good. Men also can develop uh, breast cancer. In our textbook, it is shown that approximately 1% of men uh, suffer would suffer from breast cancer. This is approximately 0.4%. Uh, uh, when it comes to the diagnostics of breast, of, uh, breast cancer, it's not just, you know, caressing it, but it's palpating in the uh, axillary area and also in the position of sitting and lying, whether there are enlarged lymph nodes around in the area. Also, you should check whether there are lymph nodes in the clavicular area. If you look at the annual incidence of breast cancer in Korea, then you will see that the blue color shows uh, invasive cancers and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, zero cancer uh, comes in purple. Uh, nonetheless, you can see that they come above If you look at the last year, then last year approximately 30,000 patients developed uh, breast cancer. This results in annual incidence growth of breast cancer approximately uh, by 6%. All these uh, results in a particular uh, well-being and well-being actually means that we eat more calories more fats and uh, uh, women uh, tend to have late marriages postponed pregnancy and they do not breastfeed 
This also uh, uh, can be seen in the age distribution of breast cancer in South Korea. Even if you screen population for quite long, nonetheless, uh, the um, uh, mean age is approximately 50 and slightly over 50. Asian ethnic groups are almost the same, Taiwan and Japan. Uh, actually, they follow uh, American pattern, and they can be seen to the right. And Korea will follow uh, the Japanese um, pattern, and uh, in the long run, uh, the USA. That means that the age group of a bigger number of uh, the biggest incidents will be uh, higher. So the lifespan will um, go up, and this is inevitable. Uh, and you can see that more 40 years uh, patients will have uh, developed. Um, uh, breast cancer, followed by the uh, age group of 50, those who are 50 and those who are 30. Nonetheless, in Korea, we have quite a good uh, trend towards the clinical staging. The most uh, the best, uh, this, the, the num biggest number of cases, uh, this is stage one and two. When I was a resident doctor, the most, uh, uh, the biggest incidence was uh, stage three and four. Nowadays, it is one, two, and three, and, and zero. That actually means that the uh, screening uh, programs do work and the diagnostics at a very high rate. The results of uh, treating breast cancer is almost the best in the world. Previously, when we uh, diagnosed breast cancer, the principle was actually total mastectomy. And as a matter of fa uh, fact, operating on the breast and the breast muscles after that, chemotherapy and radical mastectomy. And at the moment, the uh, breast sparing surgeries are most widespread in, Russia, in uh, Korea. And uh, from up to 60% of patients undergo conservative surgeries. After we remove the tumor, we do biopsy. The reason for biopsy is uh, that treatment methods and treatment modalities can be multiple. Most frequently, ductal carcinoma is observed than the CIS, that uh, ductal carcinoma in situ. After that, we uh, have lobular carcinoma in situ. And the methods of treatment are different for these two types of uh, breast cancer. Previously, breast cancer treatments were determined by staging. At the moment, biological markers are also taken into account, as also the codes are uh, different. So we um, have different treatment modalities. They depend on the ER and PR receptors, target uh, therapy, as well as the positive and uh, negative uh, HER2 re receptors. Even in the negative ER and PR, the so-called triple negative cancer is treated differently. Previously, treatment was provided depending on the stage. At the moment, it, is, uh, it rests upon these uh, biological markers. Although there is one, KI-67, and the treatment will be variable according to KI-67 as well. Treatment also is different depending on the luminal A, luminal B, and HER2 types, as well as the tri uh, triple negative. This is just for your knowledge. And uh, as I've already told you, BCS was for the first time provided in Korea and Asia uh, in uh, 1986. People who followed me for the f first time in Korea uh, grew in numbers and uh, BCS modified actually started um, being more and more popular. These uh, templates were similar and uh, previously and uh, modified uh, started to be the same as BCS in Korea and at the moment uh, BCS reaches 70%. This means that the quality of life of uh, women changed uh, drastically. The absence of breast, that doesn't uh, just mean that they 
um, um, they uh, lose their femininity, but uh, also it was a great deal of stigmatization in their families. Uh, they got divorced, and sometimes they just went out in the mountains, committed suicides. At the moment, BCS is the leader, and that is why there is no um, uh, need to get divorced or just uh, stop working. The quality of life uh, changed drastically, and at the moment, they live quite full lives. According to, and thanks to the early detection, the five-year survival rate as well as the 10-year uh, survival rate accounts for 92 uh, and 85 uh, percent. So this is the best outcome in the world. That is why 500,000 uh, patients come over to get treatment to Korea. And many of them uh, come because of the breast cancer from Arab countries, from Russia, from other a a Asian countries, and many, many patients we have from China. So analyzing the characteristics uh, also, uh, I can tell you a bad news that we still have growth that's 6% per year. This is sad that young women up to the age of 40, they uh, uh, get breast cancer twice as frequently than in the USA. But regular uh, screenings allow us to detect more cases. So uh, in the West, that's mammography alone. But if we have suspicion, we also provide ultrasound and MRI. So that's why the level of early detection is very high. In Korea, BCS accounts for 65, 70 percent. But at the moment, even if you uh, remove the breast, um, we provide the so-called plastic surgery stage. So, in the long run, as there are many early detection methods, the mortality inevitably is brought down. Previously, we used chest surgery, hormonal therapy, as well as the radio radiotherapy. At the moment, we have the whole, uh, we have um, a lot of methods like targeted therapy, immune modulation, and also even the genes can be uh, um, cut out which result in breast cancer. It's not just pharmaco treatment and uh, surgery, and we also provide recommendations about the hobbies, modification of lifestyle, uh, going into sports, and the treatment outcomes become much better. In conclusion, I can say that uh, breast cancer incidence in South Korea increases annually by 6.1 percent. This is bad news because there are many patients younger than 40, under for the uh, 40s, that survival is better than in the Western world and in any uh, other country of the world. This is good news. And I would also like to say that the uh, form of treatment Im improved significantly from radical uh, surgery to uh, organ sparing and uh, reconstructive surgeries. And I developed my own technology of oncoplastics. And I will tell you about it a little bit uh, more. You will probably hear about the pink ribbon. This is um, a program that was in initiated in New York back in the 90s. And at the moment, we have great events of the uh, pink ribbon in October. Women should be healthy, then their families will be healthy. And the uh, healthy family is, means healthy nation and uh, healthy uh, people around us and healthy e economies. 
So you can see this pink ribbon here. I would say to, uh, I would like to say that there are solid cancers and uh, uh, floating uh, tumor cells, like in le uh, leukemia. It's so uh, solid cancer, uh, breast cancer is solid cancer, and surgery is a technology and art at, at the same time. Since 1994. 1894, Dr. Halstead from Hopkins University made a presentation about the radical mastectomy. That was the method that was used for 70 years since then. Later on, when the uh, chemotherapy appeared, they started uh, using modified radical mastectomy. Dr. Varanesi, uh, who passed away, who worked in the National Oncology Center in Italy, started thinking about uh, big breast patient, you know, Western, uh, whether I should be removing the whole breast living. Uh, mm, smaller than two centimeters, and he uh, published uh, breast conservative surgery in New England Journal of Medicine in 1986. And uh, later on, his uh, seminars actually were as popular um, that they so popular that they uh, started uh, in early morning and went on um, up till late at night. And he started uh, thinking about con uh, conservative surgery. Uh, when I was comparing uh, oncoplastic surgery and radical mastectomy, I came to the conclusion that the re results of relapse development um, and the uh, results of uh, survival are just the same. And the effect of beauty comforts a woman as well as uh, just preserves femininity. I worked in nuclear oncology hospital in the center of uh, radiotherapy, which was best in uh, South Korea at that time. And I thought about doing the best for our women. And I started back in, 80, in 1986. Doctors and professors who I worked with uh, scolded me a lot. And they, uh, there was a great deal of skepticism. But I continue practicing it. In Korea, in the year 2000, there was an even uh, number of uh, organ sparing surgeries as well as uh, radical mastectomies. So the concept of oncoplastic surgery was devel developed in Germany by Udrich. And since then, we continue developing such technologies that would improve it, uh, make it cheaper, and we shall demonstrate it in, uh, the, in uh, very soon. Apart from that, if you uh, operate in the uh, auxiliary area, then you should know the, the volume of the surgery. And also, <coughs> the uh, Krag and uh, Giliano doctors um, made uh, just a, uh, did the node biopsy uh, with a minimal material. That means uh, that uh, the edema, in fact, was much uh, lower. The breast uh, conser uh, conserv uh, conserving surgery uh, means that if you can do a woman, make a woman beautiful, that you are a surgeon, a real surgeon, or a surgeon uh, starting with a big letter S. For conservative surgery, you need to um, preserve as much uh, tissue as possible. That is why you need to select a good doctor who is capable of regulating the balance. And the surgeon also must bring down the uh, relapse rate. German uh, surgeon Aldrich, uh, who I already mentioned, for the first time used oncoplastic surgery as a term. Uh, this is uh, an image that shows that how Dr. Holset from Hopkins Hospital back in 1894 removed the breast. And uh, you can see that the uh, chest muscles didn't look static enough. And uh, look at uh, the edema of the arm. At the moment, you uh, can remove this edema. You can get rid of it. After that, the anti-tumor medication appeared and the situation significantly improved. This is modified mastectomy. 
where uh, pectoralis muscles are not removed, only breast tissue and uh, uh, auxiliary lymph nodes. So previously, I used the vertical approach. Now I'm using the side approach. So uh, the uh, scar wouldn't uh, would impair the uh, bra, uh, uh, um, so to say, convenience. So we use this cut. Uh, it's called the Mayo uh, incision. Uh, recently, they started to use uh, horizontal uh, scars. Uh, when I started business uh, in 1981, I'm started to doing it in 1986. I, those days, I removed uh, one quarter of the cancer area. Currently, I'm doing only. Uh, I currently remove only what should be removed, leaving the margin of two or three centimeters. Then. Or for uh, uh, then, uh, then the uh, cuts are frozen and removed. Then I uh, uh, see that this, uh, there is no uh, cancer cells there, and I finish the surgery. And I would like to show something more interesting. I introduced the EDM. It's uh, cell-free uh, dermal matrix. It, it's uh, yeah, five, six years have passed. It's a uh, uh, side view. The sentinel lymph node was removed, and they managed to create everything nice. I can use also blue dye to find uh, sentinel lymph nodes, but I prefer to use isotope. Uh, last days we quite a lot use uh, ICG. It's uh, uh, isocyanide and green, but the isotopes shows clear picture and simplifies the search for sentinel lymph nodes. Currently, I use a navigator or guidance system to find sentinel lymph nodes in, axillary, in, ax in the axilla. For that, after this three centimeter incision, I find a control uh, lymph node. Uh, last year, we use ADM, a cellular dermal matrix, to fill in this area where the tumor was removed. First, we use uh, such a sheet type of ADM. Currently, we use it as granules to improve cosmetic effects. Clipping is done in a way uh, that we focus on the place where the tumor was removed. And uh, compared to the past, we do suturing much better than in the days we did uh, BCS only. After some time, the wood tends to be almost invisible, so these days uh, we use ADM granules, but not the sheet like ADM. Uh, sutures are not done from outside since they are uh, subcutaneous. In case of a good quality skin, in one, two years, patients might even wonder which place the surgery was done, if it was done in all, at all, because we, reach, we might reach very good cosmetic results. And we think about improving it even more. Uh, being a woman, every patient of ours would like to uh, spare her breast, even despite having a cancer. Look at the MRI. Almost the whole breast is impaired. Look at her axillary lymph nodes. The patient asked, if you remove the whole uh, tumor, then I will commit a suicide. Could you save me? And I co could not guarantee anything to her, but I promise that I will do my best. Prior to surgery, I told her about uh, uh, chemotherapy, after which uh, at, the, uh, at the images you, you cannot see any alterations. So after removal, the uh, margins of the resections are frozen. We check for cancer cells, and then conservative intervention is started. So it was surgery, which I did 10 years ago. We had to remove the whole breast. And uh, actually, uh, manuals also describe breast removal. But then again, started to think, can I save the breast? 
First, I removed all uh, cancer structures uh, through so-called bra line. It uh, made an issue to remove uh, uh, axillary lymph nodes. After that, I stopped doing that, and I uh, worked like in uh, working in situ till 2011, 2012. Large uh, cancer actually uh, sp uh, spread to the uh, skin, and it seems like you cannot suture it after the breast is removed. Uh, these days, we often do auto transplantation, even if it takes lots of time. At uh, this image, the vein radius seems to be quite large, but it is just two millimeters. Then, at the end of the day, anastomosis is done with a microscope. After suturing, we check blood supply. Previously, it was impossible to do that. Now, the uh, blood supply could be checked using a special device with, uh, uh, with ICG uh, um, agent. Three, five minutes after IV uh, administration, you can check if we have a normal blood supply there and if veins are nicely sutured. Uh, this, uh, this is what we did uh, after we checked the blood supply uh, just be, be, uh, before the end of the surgery. It looks not very nice, but once we form the nipple, the uh, breast would look quite nice and beautiful. Later, I made it of a darker skin taken from the uh, internal uh, femoral part. Uh, then, uh, since the nipple was of a large size, I removed it. Uh, I took a piece of it to form the ex uh, uh, removed one. Uh, these days, we form the nipple on skin with tattooing uh, later on. Some patients consider that no nipple is necessary. Uh, they use uh, uh, special silicone-made nipples. After conservative uh, breast surgery, radiotherapy, uh, breast radiotherapy is uh, uh, provided. In the, the Europe, they use uh, mamacite, and the intrabeam technique is used uh, from Germany is introduced here. It's, uh, uh, it could, it's, could be removed uh, prior to uh, finish of surgery. Uh, there are lots of advantages. The next device is Mobitron. It's an American maze device. Uh, recent data in Korea shows much better results for breast treatment versus USA.
advantages of intraoperational radiation therapy are the following. Eventually, with visual control, normal cells uh, are spared. Radiation treatment produces only positive effects. Control에서 결국 정상 티슈한테 그 방사선의 그런 데미지를 안 받게 하는 거죠. 그리고 또 효과적으로 준다는 거죠. 예. 그래서 이제 보면은 이제 아까 말씀드렸지 한국에서의 그런 그 옛날에는 그냥 떼내고 브레스 컨저빙까지가 됐고 그랬는데 이제. 에в Корее пациенты после более that good oncoplastic surgery, uh, for good oncoplastic surgery, the breast surgeon and plastic surgeon should, so to say, uh, collaborate. For surgeons, it is very important to know plastic technique, and for plastic surgeon, it is very important to understand biology of breast cancer. Due to such collaboration, we might reach much better results. I was invited to visit uh, various countries in the world to give lectures and to do uh, surgeries. Here you see me uh, giving a lecture in Europe. Thank you for your attention.